eyes of the world are upon the sold out Saitama Super Arena. Look at this, it's over! It's, it's over! It's over! Shogun, definitely a star on the rise, undefeated, while Kanahara looking for his first win here in Pride. And really, a lot of people feel he is indeed the heir apparent to Vanderlei Silva. Yes, and that's including me. A very classy fighter, Kanahara there, now trying to unload. Missing with a high kick is Shogun, and this is what we anticipated, boss. Yep, and there's the first. Whoa! Hey! Stop, find its mark. Yep, and this is not good. He trapped one arm. That's unbelievable. I mean, Shogun is just an unbelievable fighter. There's a soccer kick and another stomp kick. This guy means business, ladies and gentlemen. And look at him, another stomp. And now just raining in those lefts and rights on Kanahara. Another soccer kick. Yeah, this is Brazil. Another stomp. That's what they do. Another soccer kick. How much more is the referee going to allow Mauricio Shogun the crowd and boss Rutten, Mauricio Shogun, came here to serve notice that he is going to be a force in the middleweight tournament beginning in April. Man, look at this one. Oh. Go! <laughs> yeah, I, when you see those guys train at the Shoot, shoot Boats Academy, they actually train for this. They have a person laying on the floor with tight pants and they beat the crap out of that guy. It's unbelievable. That's why they're so good at it. And we are almost Getting ready here, final instructions. The referee calls for the bell, and Phil and Boss, this should be a war. Wow. He came yeah, out he came hard. Through a hard one, too. Yep. A hard one, too. And he hit him. See, Rampage got to get off first on the feet. I, I like Rampage a lot better when he's working his jab and getting off the way he did against Chuck Liddell. Shogun has proven to be a pride prodigy thus far. All four of his fights ending in knockout. And here he is, his toughest test to date against pride veteran Quentin Rampage Jackson. Good check, you should double that jab now. So you don't wait. Whoa. Ty clinch and the patented knees from the shoot box veteran. That one was close to the chin, so was that one. Quentin should get out, he should get out. He should go to the side. This is very dangerous, come on, he lost two fights like this. Yeah, you would think he was working on the defense. Yeah, whoa, I think, I never saw I that I think one. the knees have already rattled. Rampage Jackson was along the ropes. He's in trouble, he's definitely hurt. Something hurt him. It might have been a knee to the chin. It might actually have been on the chin. He's hurt. He's got nothing to lose. He's a huge dog in this fight. And he's letting his hands go, and he's going for the fight. And, boss, you saw the look on Quentin's face, the last knee, the wincing, and now he's shouting yeah. out something to his corner. He's in pain. Yeah, his rib is hurt, man. I saw it. He's got to just go for it, man. He's got to throw. He's got to let his hands oh, go. Oh, right up uppercut hurt. Uh, not good. Not uh, good. Man, they, they, they say, man, there's a thing that says, when you get knocked out once, it's easy to get knocked Lloyd out each time. time. Master Shogun absolutely decimating Quentin Rampage Jackson in this, the first round. The youngest competitor is really taking it to the Pride veteran. You know, you see Quentin, he's, he's got a heart of a lion, will not go down, but this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, this is the end of the fight. Oh! Mauricio Shogun has Man. just electrified the crowd and perhaps shocked many MMA fans. Sh shock me. Shogun shock me. Shogun's for beat. real. Shogun's for real, and he has arrived. Man, there's no Americans in the tournament. I can't, I can't believe it. You know, we shut the door on that right there. You know, he's, de he's definitely hurt. He definitely has a hurt, a hurt rib. Who knows if he had it earlier coming into the fight or re injured it. You know, had it in training, and maybe he got better, or maybe he was hurt the whole time. But, uh... Four man. minutes and 47 seconds filled by referee stoppage, technical knockout. Mauricio Shogun, you guys, has got to be considered a big threat now in this tournament, even though the one they're all chasing is his teammate, and really his blood brother, let's face it, Vanderlei Silva. MMA fans around the world salivating at the prospects of what they're about to see. And again, just a, an awesome... Oh! Oh! He's locked there! No Garrett locked Shogun, but he gets right back up to his feet! Can he capitalize on the mistake that Shogun made? Whoa! Now we know that the shootbox guys, they're always recoup, unbelievable, and now he drops him back there with the left hook. Look, Look at this. Going to the judges. But no Garrett is hitting him. And, and hitting him. And Nogueira's bleeding now, but oh. Nogueira's getting the better of these exchanges. And now another! Oh. And now Shogun just like that, turning the tables. 
Oh my goodness! Just when you think one is going to lose, that person takes over. Unbelievable turn of events here. Oh, that was a good right hand. That's the second time he's done that, the third one. And Nogueira was caught by Shogun. Mauricio Shogun records the unanimous decision. And the youngest competitor in the tournament is on his way to the finals with a thrilling victory over Antonio Rogerio Noguera. Welcome to the sold out Saitama Super Arena in Japan for what will be without a doubt the biggest event in Pride Fighting Championships history. The eyes of the world are upon the sold out Saitama Super Arena for Pride Fighting Championships Final Conflict 2005. Round one is underway. And again, that reach advantage, a takedown by Overeem into side control. And you know that Shogun, known for his clinch work, but look at this, north self position right away by Overeem, even manages to connect with a knee to the forehead and a right, and there's that high kick. Whoa, they're firing. They've expended nothing but energy thus far. It's been a tremendous opening two and a half minutes between Overeem and Shogun. And again, some great sprawl work by Overeem. Oh, guillotine coming up. Oh, He's, my got goodness. Him. He's got it. He's got it. Guillotine by Overeem. It looks like he has. He can finish Mauricio Shogun. Oh, nice Overeem. escape here. Shogun pops Woo. his head out. <laughs> Amazing. That is crazy. How much fuel they've already consumed, Box? Yeah, the, I said it before, the pace, it's extremely high, especially the clinching, oh, the, the throwing, oh. mount position. Side mount. Knees, I just want to say, uh, Big time pretty left sure. knee. And again, that left arm, Boss, yep. in a precarious position for Overing. He has to watch out. You're absolutely right. Oh, oh another trapping the arm. Strike. No, it's Good bad. job of trapping that arm by Shogun. Only 23 years old, undefeated. Look at this bound. Now some ground and pound by Shogun. Alistair should buck up as hard as he can so that Mauricio has to look for balance and can punch. And the fans now getting behind the efforts of Shogun, trying to wing block his Overeem or answering the phone, as El Wapo likes to call it. And now he needs to defend himself intelligently here, boss. Yep, Three and a half minutes remaining. They have to watch out, otherwise the referee's gonna step in. Oh, and now he's arm again. trying to neutralize that left arm, and now just raining in those left, and, and it is it. over! Shogun continues his winning ways at Pride Fighting Championships, and it will be an all-Brazilian final in the 2005 middleweight tournament at six minutes, 42 seconds. Shogun via TKO takes care of Alistair Overeem. Shogun will face Ricardo Arona. And what do you think, boss, is on his mind? Maybe a little revenge for what happened to the shoot the box leader, Vanderlei Silva. We anticipate an electrifying final for Shogun. Of course, he wants to win the tournament. He wants to win that belt, but you know in the back of his mind, he also wants to defeat Ricardo Arona because Shooter Box is more than a team. It's a family. It's a family. Here we go. Battle is on the way. We are indeed going to crown a new Pride Middleweight Tournament champion. Will it be Ricardo Arona, who is indeed on the cusp of enjoying his Biggest night ever for that matter. Also for Mauricio Shogun, and what an artistic spinning kick that was. Beautiful here. Now see what, look at this. Hey, Uma Palada. He's got it? Does he have, no, slips out, I think. No, it's still there. Right off the bat. Oh no, he's out. Whoa, would have, that be something. And looking for the look knee right away, and a stop kick. Uh-oh, to the grudge. This Mauricio Shogun, 23 years of age, undefeated at 7-0. You talk about a supernova. There's no stopping in him. Look at this. This is his coming out party. I mean, he is definitely putting himself on a map of oh, superstardom. There, there we go, the first clinch. knee. 
And he's manhandling Arona thus far. What a start. He's scrambling up here. Arona is good in stopping him, but no, he's getting up. You know, he's already been involved in what has to be a nominee. Oh, oh nice beautiful. trip takedown. Looking to pass the guard immediately as well, but now is in the open guard, half guard there. We are seeing an onslaught courtesy of Brazilian, or uh, shooting box. Mauricio Shogun on Brazilian top teams, Ricardo Arona. And I don't know if Ricardo Arona is totally aware of what's oh, hitting him oh. right now. No south position, no. You cannot let Mauricio go to the north-south position. Look at this, he just gets up right away. We're seeing a one-man clinic here, boss. <laughs> Look at this, it's over! It's over! Unbelievable! I don't think I've ever seen a more dominating performance in my life, boss Rutan! Oh, unbelievable, look at this! The family is in the there! Fireworks the at the Saitama Super Arena, and I think really, next to Mauricio Shogun, the happiest man in the ring, and there he is, it's Vanderlei Silva! Oh my God! Two minutes, 53 seconds of the opening round, we've got a new Pride Middleweight Tournament Champion. His name is Mauricio Shogun, and yes, my friends, he is indeed an MMA superstar. Whoa, wow. 23, unbelievable. What, the, what a future, what a future this guy has. Look at him, top of the world at 23. I, I was 28 when I started. Can you, I can't believe it. It's just unreal the way he came out. <laughs> he came to do business. Look at that celebration. Oh. Unbelievable. Vendelay, look at wow. him. Wow. Oh, goosebumps. You better believe it, my friend. Look at that picture. This. And Top the of the world. Crowd are here at the Saitama Super Arena erupting as well. Capoeira here at his you best. Better Woo! Believe it. Wow. Electrifying.